Hello everyone and welcome back. Today's video is gonna be a mini haul and I have this to unbox from Chanel and I know it looks like a really big bag but it's actually a small item and a few more bits and bobs here that I'm so excited to let you guys know about these are PR gifts so let's start off with the Chanel item because I know for sure that you guys are here because of the Chanel haul if you just happen to stumble upon this channel welcome my name is Amy and on this channel we're all about making the savviest and stylish decisions around luxury fashion so if you're new here consider subscribing all right so the item came in this box and here is my proof of purchase so let's talk about uh, the pricing afterwards but look at how pretty this packaging is it's glitter white ribbon and um, a glitter camellia super pretty I think all the glitter there's even glitter on the box. I wonder if it's just been transferred. I love a different ribbon as well because I use ribbons to do other DIY items. Except that I don't think I can use this one because it looks like it's just glued on and if you wash it, it will literally come off. Uh, and it looks like I'm gonna be <laughs> covered in glitter pretty soon because it actually does fall off really easily. So anyway, so that's the packaging did you guys pick up anything new uh, with the holiday packaging and uh, what do you think about it i feel like it's pretty but it's definitely not as high end or as high luxury as before it's just pretty because of all the glitter let's open this up i'm gonna try to avoid all the glitters oh my goodness and Like I said, it's a small item, but a pretty big box to reveal. Wow, so nice. To reveal this beautiful lavalier scarf. So yes, it is my very first silk accessory from Chanel. And uh, let's take a look at how it looks on. On this side, there's the houndstooth pattern with the Chanel logo printed on it and this is the neck area so they've sewn it together and on this other side you've got the CC's in black and white and this is the underside and here is the label And it's 100% silk. Very pretty. It's very long. So anyway, um, I had been waiting for this item since September. I know. It's almost been three months. It's kind of insane. This item is actually from the Chanel Fall Winter Act 2 collection. I'm going to link to my overview reaction video of that particular runway collection where I talk about all the pieces and all the standouts. One of the items that you will see in a lot of the runway models is that they were actually wearing a scarf where they brooched it or a really big necklace over it. However, all of them were wearing the black version of the lavalier scarf, whereas this one I saw it on their website when um you know when the collection was available in store and i immediately <laughs> told my essay that i wanted it just from the runway on how it looked on the models how they styled it uh, i just completely fell in love with it and i was so surprised that the price was so reasonable i'm gonna link to the style code in the description box uh, but the price of this item was 385 canadian dollars plus sales tax so super affordable which is why i called it a mini haul but it really is a mini price for chanel uh, for a really extraordinary item i feel like already like this is very very pretty it drapes really really nice and it's quite long uh, and of course you can do way more uh, i'll try to maybe style a few more ways to show you guys three pieces of really really beautiful jewelry that i wanted to talk about let's start with these small boxes first these are so stunning i 
am blown away at the quality. So oh, it is from Filippo Loretti. They're actually a watch company, but they have uh, started making jewelry and um, their jewelry is so beautiful. So the box, if I can just talk about the packaging a bit, there is a bit of velvet underneath. I just noticed that because I literally did not look at the underneath of the box and also on the bottom. So these boxes are very travel friendly. I feel like you can store your jewelry in these boxes and travel with it. And it also comes in these little velvet dust bags and it has the company logo in there. It's a little drawstring dust bag. Really, really cute. Let's see which one this one is. Oh yeah, this is the one that I was so blown away by the quality. This is their Robin necklace in 14 karat gold vermeil. The length of this necklace is 16 inch. The pendant is one inch. The front side with this texture and the back side, which is smooth. On the back side, it has stamped 925. And why I keep saying it's so good quality is because not only is it gold vermeil, so it's a thick layer of gold, 14 karat gold plated uh, on silver and silver, but you actually get a lot of silver for the price of these jewelry, which is amazing. It's very, very weighty. The moment I unboxed it and I was like handling it, I was like so, so surprised because a lot of times, you know, gold plated jewelry can actually be quite lightweight and there's nothing wrong with that because you still get the look, but the heavier it is, the more luxurious and the more um, the more like quality and the more material you're really getting, right? So this is how the first necklace looks like. I hope I put it on the right way. Uh, but yeah, look at how pretty this charm and everything is. And it's just one of these really substantial chains and um, sort of pendant design that really draws your eye to it. And that's the reason why I chose this other piece because it really complements the whole look. So yes, it is a layering piece. It's not quite a paperclip necklace, but it's kind of just the, you know, the mini links, uh, statement links necklace. But if you look at it very closely, it's actually different size links. You have the larger size and then you have the smaller ones also. This one is the Louise necklace and it is 21 and a half inch long. Also 14 karat gold vermeil on sterling silver and it is also part of their cosmopolitan line. Let me see if I can just put it on without taking the clasp off. Yes, yeah, so the next item comes in this box and unfortunately, I did not have the chance to unbox this myself um, because customs unboxed it for me already. So everything was already, you know, all the stickers and all the like the nice packaging, it was already all opened. A company called Naked Pearls from Melbourne. So there was a bit of tissue paper in the box and then all of these we're inside this box here. On the underside, it also says a gift that gives twice, and I'll explain why they say that. On the inside, it also comes with a sort of like a care card and a microfiber cloth so that you can uh, clean your jewelry with. I love keeping these around my jewelry box so that I always have a microfiber around. This dust bag, if I'm not mistaken, is actually made in leather. It's very luxurious. It's a little drawstring. They use genuine cultured pearls and these are the same quality pearls that apparently some luxury companies such as Tiffany and even Chanel uses. So I was really, really excited to try this. This is how they look on me. I have pretty small earlobes, so I feel like these are the perfect everyday size for my ears and they're so cute and dainty. I feel like it really adds a little pop but without going overboard. So very, very dainty and very, very cute. They definitely are very well made. Every purchase uh, that is made with Naked Pearls, they will also give back. They will donate three meals to people in need through the organization Rise Against Hunger, which is a nonprofit that distributes meals to school feeding programs in developing countries. Madame Glam, 
gel nail polish system. So I received this PR package from Madame Glam and it comes in this box with really cute pink padding inside. Let me show you the shades that I have right here. These are the three shades that they sent me. And I am wearing the red shade that you're seeing right here. This is called Queen of Hearts. I told them that I'm a, you know, my favorite color is red. So they made sure to include a red color for me. And it's actually quite true to, true to color, except that, you know, I only use one coat on my, on my nails. So I feel like maybe it's a touch lighter than their actual nail color on the top, but it's actually really, really close. I have this pink color called Angel Wings, and I also have this sort of purpley mauve color called Soulmate. I haven't tried these two yet, but based on my nails right here uh, of the red color that I showed you earlier, it is fantastic. I've had these nails done since Saturday last week, so it's been a whole full week plus two days already. So there are two different types of gel polishes as far as I know. Uh, there is Soak Off, which is this whole system here. Soak Off means that it's a three-step process. In case you're not familiar with gel nails, which I'm pretty sure a lot of you, if not everybody knows by now, is that you need to cure your nails. So these polishes, they will dry only after you cure them with a UV lamp or LED lamp. So they've also included their mini UV LED lamp and this is the Christmas version and I was very impressed at the fact that it's so small and literally weighs nothing. So it comes with a USB cord. So yes, it is USB powered and the little lamp is just, I mean, it's so small and lightweight. It comes with these foldable legs and you can see the six LED lights or LED UV lights and a one button on off and just like uh, you know the curing button that's pretty much it so lightweight so easy to travel and it works like a charm I was very skeptical because I didn't think that it would work because it just I mean I've never tried it so yeah, this is my first time trying gel nails at home and I am totally converted. I don't think I'll ever have to go back to a nail salon unless I need to do nail art, uh, which I never do. I just like my simple solid colors. Like I said, I don't do my nails very often and I'm not like super good at it, but I am decent, I think. And I did take my time doing it because what's the point of not taking your time to do it properly if you're gonna do your nails, right? Because I don't really often do my nails. By the way, my left hand fingernails are smaller than my right hands. I have no idea why, but that's how they are. I am a total convert of gel nails at home, and I'm a big, big fan of the Madame Glam quality. So like I said, I only used one coat of the color, and I feel like it's really, really, I mean, it's very, it's already very, very pigmented. If you've never done gel nails, it's quite easy to mess it up if you don't know what you're doing. So things to really uh, note, it's almost pointless to do your nails if you're not gonna prep your nails. So by prepping, I mean uh, cutting, shaping your nails, filing your nails, uh, pushing back your cuticle. So these are the tools that I use, especially if you do your nails very frequently, you definitely want a cuticle softener so i just use deborah lipmint because they're seven free oh i totally forgot to say the other reason why i'm a big fan of madame glam is because they are vegan and nine free nine free means that they are free of the nine commonly known highly toxic chemicals uh, with nail polishes in general like any brand even the higher end brands uh, the the conventional ones are, are you know they use ingredients that are you know it makes the formula great but it can be very very harmful for your health after you inhale it or you absorb it through your tissues if you've been watching me for a while you know that i tend to stay as clean as i can with my skincare and anything that i use on my body and especially with nail polishes even my regular nail polishes they are also nine free or seven free deborah lipman is seven free so 
uh, that's pretty good and uh, Madame Glam is 9 free which is amazing. Second of all is that when you do apply your nail polish whether it's gel or regular but especially if it's gel polish make sure to not go over your nail bed because anytime you go over and you cured it uh, it's very easy to be peeled uh, because if it's stuck on your skin or if it gets over the edge of your cuticles uh, then those areas will tend to peel off first. At the very last step when you're done doing your nails, your nails are actually dry. They are. They're solid. They're good to go. But it will be tacky. And no matter how much you wash your hands, it will not go away. Trust me, I was wondering what was wrong with me. Uh, but all you needed to do, and I just googled it at the end, is to just use an alcohol wipe to take off that sticky uh, coating on top and you're golden you're good to go and this is the result of my nails for like I said it's already been over a week and it's you know aside from the fact that it will just keep growing to the point where you just have to redo your nails because your nails are too long and you see too many of the gaps uh, it's actually wearing super well I cook all the time I do all kinds of chores at home and they are staying put if I can get coupon codes for those things they're not affiliated but you're free to use for you to save money then go ahead and use it I'm pretty sure during the holidays as in you know during Black Friday and even during the Christmas holidays they'll have their own sales anyway so if their own sales are better then definitely use their own uh, promotions on the site but if they don't have any sort of promotion then definitely uh, use my code so that you can save some money I think with Madame Glam you can save 30% with my code I have two more things to share I completely forgot I bought Yeezys or I guess my husband bought them because um, he's a sneakerhead and he got these for me for Christmas I kind of mentioned to him that I wanted to try Yeezys just because I don't know why but they're like the ugliest sneakers out there but the more you look at them just like anything in life I suppose the more you look at something that you were originally not super keen on or a fan of the more you sort of see the design or the beauty of it so anyway we'll see how I get used to it these are a restock of the bread color so these are the 350 v2s i know i sound like i know my stuff but uh, i've been watching some youtube <laughs> just to see just to learn about it so they come packaged like this this is my first pair of easies like i said and there you have it this is um the bread color which is red and black basically and this is a true black fabric i got it in a size us men's seven because they only make it in men's size and you just have to convert the sizing you do have the size up a half size that's the recommended um sizing for the v2s but yeah how cool are they i mean i feel like when you look at them they just look extra cool i i love how it's pointy and it kind of narrows down in the middle but when you do have it on your feet, it does look a bit wide. Like when you look from top down, it looks great. But when you look at it from a whole sort of outfit point of view, it does look like you have pretty big flabby feet. But it's an acquired taste. I have to say that I'm not going to be wearing this when I'm wearing like my fancier outfit. It's more going to be when I'm like really dressed down and, you know, going for a walk or something. I don't know. Um, but yeah, I just... I fell in love with the shape it's so cool uh, plus red is my favorite color so those are them he also got a pair so we're gonna be matching and last but not least if you've seen my luxury live show uh, the last episode which was hosted on Kat's channel we shared our Black Friday purchases if you haven't watched it I'll link it down below and this was one of the items that I shared in that video that you have not never seen because I got it afterwards and this is a beautiful self-portrait dress with the bow design which came out in their fall winter collection I believe um, beautiful sort of clear panel here it does come with straps so you can wear it with the straps but I prefer without and I got the longer version, which has these beautiful pleats that go all the way down to your feet. So this is a long dress. 
and I love the sweetheart line with the uh, lace detailing over here and the big large satin bow detail it's just so pretty um, yeah I'm gonna be trying on everything so you can get to see how it looks like on me Let me know which of the items were your favorite from this haul. I have a feeling that it would be the silk scarf from Chanel, but I honestly love everything that I showed you in this haul. So that is it for my entire haul video. If you're still watching, I want to thank you so much because I know a lot of people don't watch till the end and that's fine, it's their choice. But if you are, then you're my homie. <laughs> you're part of Amy's army and I just want to say thank you for your support for however long you've been around on uh, my channel and because of this because you're still watching and this is hush hush surprise I want to host a giveaway here I have actually partnered with some Morga and um, I'm just gonna do an extra one here like as a surprise one I want to offer one of the three prizes it was supposed to be two but We'll add another one, I think. I'm going to ask them. <laughs> um, this is going to be one of the three prizes. You get to choose anything from their website that you like. And I'm going to pick a winner from the comment section of this video. But those who skipped or who <laughs> exited out of the video too early won't be able to hear that. And uh, those of you who did stay till the end will be able to enter uh, I guess not only in this video but in a future video that I will be officially hosting the giveaway so yeah surprise uh, also uh, it's in light of the holiday season I you know I work with them uh, this year and I love partnering with them so I asked them if they were willing to do a giveaway in light of the holidays and end of 2020 and so they were kindly enough to say yes so that is why. I'm going to make it as simple as possible. So the first step is to follow me as well as the Morga on Instagram. 
pretty easy right the second step is that you have to be subscribed to my channel i would assume that if you're watching till the end that you are probably subscribed to my channel because you probably are um, so amazing that you watch you know from beginning to end so that should be pretty easy and third of all is just to comment down below that you want to enter also let me know if you were to win which item you would choose from their site thank you so much again for watching and if you're brand new to my channel especially if you want to enter the, the giveaway definitely consider subscribing and i'll talk to you guys again very soon bye